concerned about where the other dog went right now. <laughs> they get to sit next to each other in the kennels and bark at each other all day. So this is K9 Diesel. He's actually my second partner. On the table here, you see a picture of K9 Nemo. K9 Nemo was my original partner. Me and him worked together for about 10 years. And then I was lucky enough to get a second dog, to get Nemo's replacement. And we went through the academy last year. We graduated last June. We went through the State Police Academy down in Ware Town, or they call it Fort Dix. It was a 14-week academy. Diesel certified in 16 different explosive odors. And that's what we search for. We'll go out, if there's a bomb threat in a building or in a school, we go out and we search for that. We also go out and search what they call suspicious or unattended packages. If you're walking around, you see a backpack or a suitcase laying around, nobody knows whose it is. Today, we call the police and we have Diesel come out and take a sniff of it and tell us if there's anything in it that's bad. We also look for guns and things along those lines, which we've done quite a few searches of. Diesel hasn't found any yet, but K9 Nemo had found two guns throughout his career. Uh, the different explosives that we look at, or that actually the Diesel looks for and sniffs for, I can't see them, I can't smell them, we can't smell them. We have gunpowder, we have dynamite, TNT, those are the common ones that everybody knows about. Then we also have some uncommon ones that the terrorists have designed in today's day and age that they're also certified to find. Uh, the problem with those are they're so unstable, it, unstable means they go boom real easily, but we have to have chemists come out and put them out for us and let the dog search for them. As you can see, he's very inquisitive. One of the things that we want in the dogs that we use is work dogs. I want the dog you don't want as a pet. The dog that's going to go in your house and destroy your house, that's who I want as my work dog. I want a dog that's into everything, on top of everything, and that's him. He goes into buildings, he instantly goes into search mode. Because he's normally, and I'm pretty sure Officer Wallace said, our dogs are kenneled outside. So they know when they go inside, it's time to go to work. So he knows when he goes inside, it's time to go to work. We'll see how well he does this. We've been working on this for a while. He tends to pop up every once in a while and uh, not like to keep us down. Okay, I saw a hand up over here. I got a question. Um, is it a pipe bomb another explosive? Yup, that's another type. Like it's like some kind of pipe thing? A pipe bomb is usually a pipe filled with an explosive powder or some sort of explosive. And, and what he actually very noisy. What's that? And it's very noisy. So oh yes. And we actually were training with pipe bombs last week, so you definitely can find them without a problem. Do I have any other questions out here? Yes, ma'am. Do you put a vest on him before you send him out? No, we don't. Um, a couple things that people don't understand about the bomb work. You see the leash? This is how far I am from him on a bomb job. Ah. So, it's me and him. Ah. That's why the one thing with the bomb work, and it's always been very, very cool to me at the State Police Academy, is as you're walking out the door of the classroom, right above the door is a huge sign that says, trust your dog. We need to have 100% faith in our dog that they're gonna find the bomb. Because he's the only thing that keeps me safe and keeps him safe when we go into the school. We're lucky in a way that he has no idea how dangerous our job is. We train men that this is a game. They have a toy that they get rewarded with when they find the bomb. When he's searching, his tail's wagging 100 miles an hour the entire time he's searching, because to him, it's a fun game. Only I know what the possibilities are. Do you, once he finds it, he doesn't actually grab it, he no. just stops? No, canine diesel is what we call a passive indicating dog. He'll find the explosive odor and he'll sit. Yes? Uh, does, does the dog attack people? Nope, he doesn't attack people and just, it's a preconceived notion that police dogs in general attack people. Our dogs don't, specifically ours don't attack, but police dogs, we call them, they apprehend. They actually will bite somebody and hold them there. They don't keep biting them. They're not, they're not trained to attack anybody. Sit. I saw another hand up. Yes. Do they catch robbers? Some of them do. He doesn't, but some of them do. <laughs> some of the neat things that we got to do though in the police academy 
before, I should say the K9 Academy. K9 Diesel's been in airplanes, he's been in helicopters, he's been on boats, he has been on top of, if you've ever seen the giant oil tanks and oil refineries, we've been on the top of them. That scared me more than it scared him. Uh, and little things that we have to do, yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> He's, a, he's about eight inches off the ground on that little thing. So. I call him my cupcake because I get this from him all the time. He's all about his handler. Yes, ma'am. Um, other than the bulletproof vest that I wear every day, that's all we wear on a search. To be quite honest with you, there is no gear out there that I could actually work in that would protect us from a blast. If there's a blast in our immediate area, you know, it's game over, but that's, it's just too hard for him to work. And one thing that's a little different, um, kind of like Officer Wallace, our searches usually are at five minutes. If we have an entire school or an entire corporate building to search, we may be working for an hour, two hours, three hours, and he just couldn't do that in the vest. It would take home too much out of him. And they're not that limber and agile in the vest. Even though, sorry, even though that, that he's a work dog, you do get attached to him. Oh yes. Um, in the K9 Academy, the first thing they tell you on day one is don't get attached to the fuzzy thing. <laughs> and in the beginning, the reason they teach us that is there's no guarantee that the dog you're partnered with when you start is going to be the dog you graduate with. Not all dogs are cut out to do the work. Right. Some of the dogs will get a week or two into the Academy and they actually stop wanting to search. His, his hunt drive, as we call it, got stronger as we went through the academy. He, he drives me crazy in the mornings because he wants to go to work. He just absolutely loves working. You can see it. Um, some of the neat things, I'll get to the questions in just a moment. Some of the neat things that I just want to tell you guys about. I haven't done it with him, but my old partner, his last hurrah, we got to work the Super Bowl at the Meadowlands. That was Diesel, or K9 Nemo's last big show. We worked the whole week at the Meadowlands, and I uh, even got to work game day, but I got home in time to see the last half of the game. And this year, me and K9 Diesel may be working. We're still waiting on the specifics to Papal visit in Philadelphia. We might be working that. And then next year, we've got the uh, PGA tournament coming up in Baltusrol in Union County, and we'll be working that. This is all in conjunction with a statewide task force that we're part of that combines to about 100 K-9 teams at this time and nine bomb squads across the state of New Jersey. So this is available not only to the state police but to any member of the task force to utilize if there's a threat or something within your area. So with one phone call, I'm able to get a whole group of bomb dogs and bomb squads if I need them to mitigate any situation. Uh, man, I can pick it up. I, I don't remember. His ears up like that? Yes. Is he constantly working? Is, or is it... I don't remember. With, the, with the German Shepherd, you want the ears up. Um, when the ears are pinned back, he's either very angry or he's, he's upset about something. Um, I have a great picture of him the first time he put the little dog booties on. And I went to train him with the dog booties so he wasn't walking in all the salt. The picture I have of him is sitting there with his head down, ears pinned back, and he was very angry about his dog booties. But he's gotten very good at working in the booties now. Yes? Um, is there ever more than one dog working on a case? It, depending upon the case. A lot of the bomb calls that we go to, we had a bomb call at Raritan Valley Community College a few years back. I actually had 15 dogs there, and it took, still took us three hours to clear the whole facility. But imagine if we didn't have the dogs, how long it would have taken. Can they get distracted? I mean, they do get distracted to a point, but we work with those different distractions. When we're training, we put food out. We put out his favorite toy. We put those things out so that they don't get distracted during the search. Yes? Um, what's the badge and That's his badge. It's actually, unlike me, he gets a badge with his name on it. We don't even get our name on our badge, but our uh, our fussy partners get their name on their badges. And um, doesn't your ear slip off the Well, the neat thing with German Shepherds, if you look, we, I joke, he's got big radar dishes on top of his head. When he's listening, you'll see one ear facing forward, and you'll see the other ear will turn because something over here caught his attention. It's really kind of neat with the German Shepherds. 
One other thing that you'll find with law enforcement dogs and military dogs, canine diesel is actually tattooed. So we got, our, we got the identifier in his ear, as well as he's got a chip, so in case he were to get lost, they can scan him and scan the chip, and they would know who he belongs to. Yes? Diesel hasn't found any guns, and thank God we have found no bombs. We've had about 35 searches already this year, and no bombs. And most of them are what we call threats, and that's kind of how we want to keep it. Yes? Canine Diesel likes pretty much any treat that I give him. Um, he's not picky. He does, the one thing he really loves, we mix a uh, powder into his food at night, and it makes like a gravy. He sits there and licks the bowl clean. He absolutely loves the gravy that he mix into his food. So. How much does he weigh? He's about 83 pounds. And he's, uh, and that, for him, that's not a perfect weight. Won't get any bigger? I don't, we try not to keep them any bigger. Again, it starts affecting the way they move. And because they are a work dog, it will affect the amount of time they can work. Three to five pound change in a working dog is huge. Just because of that. And we keep them a little on the slim on the slimmer side than most. What we want when they're working and they're breathing hard, we want to see their ribs. Not not like anorexic ribs, but we want to see a little bit of the ribs. Okay, I want to thank you. We've got one more dog coming up. Captain Pino's gonna come up and give you a little bit of information on that. Again, thank you very much.